What's up, guys? This is your girl, Okima, and I am here with the man, Mr. Will Packer, Rainforest Film. What's up, everybody? This is your man, Darren Henson, with XI Magazine and DFTV. Stay tuned, because there's a whole lot more. We congratulate you, first of all. Thank you, you so beautiful. much. Thank you very Isn't much. Isn't she glowing like a little Ambi commercial? <laughs> I want to give a shout out to XI TV and D Up TV. I'm Stephen Hill. Make sure you check out XI because they're making it happen. I'm doing dynamite out here in South Beach. If you're not here, you're losing. Good. You look like a in your wife. You know, I try. You know, this is South Beach and you, you better bring it. Otherwise, they're going to know you don't belong. So. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Okima T. We are on the red carpet for the 2010 ABFF here in Miami, Florida. It is hot, but the stars are hotter. We have everyone on the carpet from Melissa Ford to Lance Gross, Will Power Packer, and all the people for Santi R2. Everyone is in the media box. It was pure pandemonium. So, takers. Yeah. I'm so amped about this film. Not like I'm amped. Let me tell you something. This film has been a long time coming. It was supposed to come out in, like, 1973. It was originally <laughs> black and white. You know, this is a movie that is a labor of love. This is my first action film, and... I love the cast. Uh, I'm very proud of the film. First time being able to see it with a real audience. I'm excited about it. I really am. He is amazing. He's worked on so many great films, Stomp the Yard and so on. And to see a, a, a gentleman of color do these kind of things and, and make these kind of moves in these kind of large films, coming from the independent community, I think it's an amazing, amazing feat. My dream was always to be a rapper, and I never even thought that was going to come true. And God has just shown me anything that he allows to cross, a, cross your mind is possible. So tell us a little bit about the project. Well, the Star Project was a competition. Um, we did monologues. It was right. a monologue competition. And then the winner is flown here to the festival, and they get to perform at the closing night ceremony. Nice. I can't yeah. believe that. So amazing. And uh, I see you got my good friend Stephen Hill with you. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, I do what I can when I can't do what I do. I know, know that's right. <laughs> I've done the festival circuits all over the country, and I think that ABFF gives, you know, for them, a lot of them, they give the, the attention to the directors or the producers, but to give some of the attention also to the actors is like, it's an important thing, you know, because we, we need that exposure. ABFF, it's, it's a great experience. I used to come before I was in the industry and when it was all a dream. So coming back now when I'm working and in the industry, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Golden Brooks and Mr. Darren Henson. Hi guys. Hi. You guys look amazing. Thank you. Comfy. Yeah. So are you happy to be at ABFF? I am. I've never been. This is my first year and oh, it's we just got a virgin in the house. I am a virgin. It's so festive and it's so great to have all these people here supporting what we do. I love it. This is the first time I've had a film in it. So. Yes, I hear that you now you're working with PHI, right? No, I got my own film company, oh, Team Sizzle, okay. Worldwide Media. But that's okay. You know, we're going we gonna to get out there. You don't know about us yet. we small time, but we're we going to get bigger. When ABFF has just got so much going on. Yeah, well, it always does. So, you know, that's why everybody continues to want to be a part of it. Uh, Miami's always beautiful and nice and hot. and Everybody gets to just come out and chill and, know. you know, hang around the pool. So we are at the box office for the Lincoln Theater here for the 2010 ABFF. As you can see, it's closed now, but I promise you that people will be clamoring for tickets inside tonight's gala. We want to make sure that we always support our own, that we go out and we see these movies in the theaters. So stomp the yard in the confidant here right now. We're going to check it out. Oh, everything right now with the Fort Hollywood Institute is, is great. I mean, because I think it's giving everybody the opportunity to really get to know the behind the scenes that's going on with movies and learning. Um, you know, about playing on investment football doesn't last forever, so it's all about finding the next chapter in our life. This is Cynthia of Queen Nefertari Productions, who represents the, who has the only black film fund in existence. But it was awesome to be able to be in a film that's all black, all African American, from the producers, to the directors, to the actors, and we lived through the entire movie. Well, some of them didn't. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I, I, honestly, I, I was never really interested in doing a horror film, but because it was was written so well, mm -hmm. and because of my character in it, who's this, like, this griot in, in the film, it was amazing, and I, I really signed on to do it because it was, it's a really empowering uh, film. Nice. Hey guys, this is your girl, Okina C. I'm here with the man. Mr. Jeff Friday um, at the 2010 American Black Film Festival. What we're missing, and when I say we, I mean the black, the black people, we're, we're missing access. You know, Hollywood's a private club, and if you notice, the sons and the daughters and the cousins and the godchildren of certain important people all end up working, uh, and there are probably two degrees of separation in Hollywood right now, right? So what we're trying to do is create our own kind of system for encouraging and supporting people. I think, I think people who are serious, if you're serious about 
film, either in front of or behind the camera, and you haven't made it yet, and you don't come here, you really have to question yourself, because you don't have to make it to come. This is for the people who are trying to make it. Hey guys, we are here, and we're about to wrap up Miami. Um, tonight is the ABFF Honors, the culmination of all of the hard work that has been put in by these independent filmmakers and large companies as well. Um, the sponsors have come out. They have given us a great weekend, and we consider the chapter closed until 2011's ABFF, but we might steal away to Miami sometime in the middle of the year before ABFF just to get in a little more sand site beaches and art deco. Um, we thank you for being here with us, XI Magazine, DF TV. Don't forget to visit us on the web, www.deupentertainment.com and www.ximagonline.com for everything that's new, now, and next. See you next time, guys.